I'm Andrew Allison. I'm the CEO of Cuvée Collective. We make wine NFTs for some of the best wine brands in wine country. Today, I get to hang out with Dave Moore, GM at Shug. Shug is an amazing Pinot property in the Carneros area. They've got killer caves, and we're gonna go work with Dave to see what we should put in the Shug's wine NFT collection. Come with me to go check it out. Dave, how are you? Andrew, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you as well. Welcome to Shug. Well, thanks so much for having me. I was excited to hang out with you when you invited me out. So what are we gonna get into today? Well, we're gonna take a, a trip down memory lane. We're gonna see some of what Shug is known for, our caves, and uh, we're gonna taste some amazing wines, share the story of Shug and its rich history in Pinot Noir production. And uh, well, let's go inside. Let me show you what we got. Let's get into it. Hey, Johannes, I want you to meet Andrew from Cuvée Collective. Andrew, Andrew. this is Johannes. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Shug Winery. Yeah, th thanks so much. It, it's great to be here. Yeah, it's a good time to be here too. We just wrapped up Harvest, which nice. is literally on Friday was the last of the, of the Bordeaux, with the last of Cabernet Sauvignon coming in. It's been an interesting, yeah, it's been an interesting Harvest. Just um, to say the least. <laughs> well, congrats. So if you just wrapped up Harvest, what, when did you start? So we started August 22nd already. Wow. I know, okay. hard to believe, um, over two months ago, but kind of typical here, starting with, ro with rosé coming in early, um, then the Pinot Noirs, and then just a little bit of waiting, but we have beautiful weather here in Canaras and Sonoma, so. so. So what did I catch you in the middle of today? What, what are you working on right now? So we still have some fermentations going on. I mean, the fruit that we brought in last week is you know, fermenting right now, it's outside. We have to do pump overs three times a day monitor, taste, make sure everything goes smooth out there. Wow, I love it. Well, thanks for sharing a little bit of your day yeah, with me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, why don't we take a look and explore our, our caves a little bit more? I would love to. All right, let's go check them out. Uh -huh. well, welcome to Shug. Uh, Shug was founded in 1980 by Walter Shug. Uh, we built the winery here in 1990 in Carneros. Uh, but yeah, the brand has been around for, for quite some time. Nice. And so I know Walter was making wines at Joseph Phelps before, and then he's he's come here. When he set out, what, what was the ambitions for that journey? I think that was a goes back to Walter's passion uh, for Pinot Noir. Walter growing up on the winery in Germany, he always made Pinot Noir. He was surrounded by Pinot Noir. Um, then he made Cabernet at um, Joseph Phelps, but his heart was, you know, beating for, for Pinot Noir. So he looked for a property uh, with a cool climate, um, a property that reminded him of Germany or Europe as well. And that's how he ended up here in Canaras, where we are today. Walter loved Pinot Noir, we love Pinot Noir, and it's such a diverse variety and we want to make more expressions of Pinot Noir. And why don't we just go ahead and try some of uh, the 21 vintage here. Oh, I, I um, love it. Our 21 Canaris Pinot Noir, which just got bottled in August. There is quite a bit of a state fruit in this Carneros wine. Carneros is a, is a, is a flagship for our winery, uh, for the family. Um, Walter was pivotal in creating um, this AVA. And so uh, this is our flagship. Yeah, and some of um, some of our fruit, as you mentioned, Dave, and then some fruit um, that we've been purchasing from growers we have long relationships with, and we want to bring together different terroir, different clones, just you know, give the wine good structure, good middle, um, a lot of fruit, and I think yeah, all these vineyards distribute to the wine and make it a whole complete complete wine, and which is nice. So tell me about some of the bottles that are all around us, because obviously this room is chock full with with looks like amazing wine. I see all these portraits of, uh, you know, what I'm guessing is the Shug family. So I would yeah. love to just understand more about this room itself. You're you're sitting in the in the in the history um, uh, of Shug. I mean, we call this our library cave. When you visit Shug, uh, not only you have excellent. Um, uh, high-end Pinot Noir, but you're also taking a step back in history. Yeah, every vintage we bottled, we always put some some of those bottles aside. So the, the wine was bottled here. It 
was aged here, so it never left. It has always been stored in ideal conditions, and um, I think that makes it special too. Like having these wines and like seeing, you know, once in a while opening some bottles, like what does a wine taste like that we bottled 10 years ago, that we bottled 15 years ago, or even 30 years ago. Um, just just having that memory and having it, you know, you read those old notes, but then opening an old bottle at the same time, it's just like, wow, so many things that happened in between. If I'm reading the numbers correctly, there's definitely wines in here that are older than me. So <laughs> it, 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 it's quite cool. Like I could literally see every year that you've done a vintage in here along this wall. Yeah. So. It certainly is fun for those people that, uh, that uh, want to try something unique and, and old and, and special. Uh, we enjoy sharing those wines with those yeah. folks. Okay, well, you're ready to see something else and see a little more history. We've got some things uh, in the next cave I'd love to show you. Okay, I would love to go see it. Let's do it. Yeah. Andrew, welcome to our cask room. This is where we keep uh, some of our oldest, most uh, precious uh, wines. Uh, also behind us are casks that were, uh, uh, Johannes, I don't know, how, how long have these casks been here? I mean, they've been here for 30 years, um, but some of them are much older than 30 years. I mean, some that Walter already used back on his days in Napa when he was, was making wines for Phelps, and some he just brought over that he, I think, even used in Germany too. So. It's very special, um, those large casks, and we still, like this one you're standing in front of, um, has some 22 Pinot Noir in it. So we'll still use them, we'll still use all of, the, all of these every year. What we also have in here are what we call our large format wines, three liters, five liters, and six liters of wines made by Walter, uh, signed by Walter. Uh, this is the family's private collection. Uh, these are some of the things that will be available with the NFT, but um, you know these these are our most special wines. Wow, that feels like you're like truly shopping like a, a yeah. like the ultimate library. It is, it is. Well, it feels like the right time. You know this this is how we want to share uh, the Suge story um, and this great heritage of, of Pinot Noir. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. And seeing what something that old like all the work that went went into wine back then and how how. How, how nicely it aged here too and it's like all these things that happened in between it's just like yeah finally being open to being able to open some bottles and, and feeling and tasting all the history and yeah all those special moments that that Walter you know had when he made those wines too. Oh, I feel like the Shugs family's made something just so super special and I feel like very lucky to have been able to check out the library and, and actually come see like proper library of wine this is, this is <laughs> yeah. so cool yeah we mean it we could say it's a library wine it, it really is now let's go into the caves and see where some of this wine is made and actually try some wine out of a barrel works yeah. for me let's taste something cheers guys thank you thank you thank you I really enjoyed hanging out with Dave and Johannes today. The Shug property is amazing. Those caves were such a great, unique experience. I really, really want the Cuvée Collective community to have the opportunity to come taste in these caves like I did today. So for this Shug NFT, we're gonna have a two-pack wine allocation as well as uh, on-property tasting experience for you and a plus one. You could come into their library caves, have that tasting, and they're gonna open up for the first time ever their large format wines for the Cuvée Collective community to shop. So if you own the Shug NFT, you could shop their large format wines. These are the wines that were made by Walter Shug, signed by Walter Shug. And I, I think that this is the exact type of opportunity. I'm super excited for the Cuvée Collective community to actually have the opportunity to come shop. So two pack of wine on property tasting, you and a guest, or if you don't want to come to the property, you can't come to the property, you can have that a, a digital tasting as well. Come check out the Shug NFT at kubecollective.com. Cheers. <laughs>